Hello friends, in this lesson, I want to show you how to divide numbers in base 2. Okay, so when you are dividing numbers in base 2, uh, there's one thing that you need to understand. In base 2, we only have two numbers. There's only 0 and 1. If a number can go into a number, then it goes in that number once. And if it can't, then it's 0. So now let's start with, the, uh, with our first... Uh, our, our first question here, it says evaluate. Okay, so the first question here uh, says evaluate 11. So we use long division to uh, to divide here. So we are going to have, here is our long division symbol. So we are going to have 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay, so we are going to divide. Let's see what we can do here. So 11 into 1, it can't. Okay, so you, you bring this 0 here. 11 into 0, it can't. 11 is bigger than uh, 10, I mean. 11 is bigger than 10, so it can't go into 10. So then you go to the third number here. 11 into 101, it can go into 101. 11 is smaller than 101. So we are going to write a 1 here. Because in base 2, if a number can go into another number, then it goes in there once. So we multiply 11 times, or oh, 1 times 11. We are going to have 11 here, and then we subtract. Okay, so 1 minus 1 here will get a 0. 0 minus 1, um, it can't. So we are going to get this one or borrow this one here. Now, one thing, the other thing that we need to understand is that when you borrow a 1 in base 2, it becomes a 2 on the other side. That's why it's called base 2. So you get this one here, you remain with a 0, and this one here will become a 2. Okay, so now we are going to have 2 minus 1 here, which will give you a 1. This side, 0 minus 0 is just 0. And then we say, okay, 11 into 10, it can't here. So we bring down, we bring down this 0. 11 into 100, it's 1. So 1 times 11, we have 11 here. And then we can subtract. Okay, so 0 minus 1, it can't, so we are going to get this one here. So we get this one, we remain with a 0, put it here, it becomes a 2. And then from this 2, you get a 1, you remain with a 1, and here it becomes a 2. So 2 minus 1, you have 1 here. And then now we have 11 into 1, it can't, so we bring down this one. 11 into 11, it's 1. So 1 times 11, we have 11 here, and then we can subtract, and then we get a 0. So our answer is, uh, therefore, our answer is 1, 1, 1 in base 2. So this is our answer. And then now we can go to the second part, uh, which is part B. So part B says divide this, these two numbers here. So we are going to use long division also here. So we have 1, 0, 1, and then here we have 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. 1. Okay, so we are going to, to divide these numbers. So here we have three numbers here. So we are, we are going to check the first three numbers to see if it can go in there. Because we know in the first two it can't because this one has three digits. So it can't go into uh, the first two. So in the first three here we have 101 which is just equal to that one. So it means 101 can go into 101 once. And then we multiply here we have 101 and subtract. So when we subtract here, we'll get 0. So 101 into, uh, into 0 here, it can't. So we bring down this 1. Okay, with an arrow there. And since we've brought down this 1, 101 into 1 here, it can't. So we are going to put a 0 there. Because even after bringing down, this number still ca cannot go into that one. So after writing a 0, we bring down another, another number. The other number, which is 0. 101 into 10. Okay? You, you don't consider this 0. 101 into 10, it can't. So we are going to put a 0 here. Because even after bringing down here, the number still cannot go into this one. And then we bring down the other one. Here. 101 into 101, it goes in there once. Okay? Um, and then we can multiply now 1 times 101 to give us 101 here and subtract, which will give us 0. And so we say 101 into 0, it can't. So we'll bring down the last one that we have. 
one zero one into one it can't and so since this number cannot go into this one and there are no more numbers to bring down here um we'll put a zero here okay because even after bringing down the one the number still cannot go in there and since there are no more numbers to bring down it means this is our remainder and so therefore our answer is one zero zero one zero remainder remainder one okay remainder one like this okay so if you want you can even write it as a mixed fraction but it's okay this is this is enough so this is in base two okay and uh, this marks the end of our lesson thank you